Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another recruiting news for dummies video and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different type of video than I usually do on this channel. So today I'm going to be predicting where I think some of the top recruits in the class of 2024 are going to land. Now let's get into it. All right, so the first recruit I'm going to talk about is Williams Winery. He's a five-star defense online. He's 6'5", 250 pounds. He's from Missouri. He's the number three recruit nationally, and the number one defense aligned, and the number one recruit coming out of the state of Missouri. Now, right now, I have it about a 75% chance of him going to Oklahoma, a 20% chance going to Georgia, and a 5% chance going to Missouri. Overall, I do think he will land in Oklahoma. He has predictions to land in Oklahoma on 24-7 sports, and uh, I ultimately think that is where he's going to end up. Up next, I'm going to be talking about five-star defense line, David Stone. He's 6'4", 270 pounds. He's from Florida. He's the number six recruit nationally, number two defense line, and number three recruit coming out of the state of Florida. I have Oklahoma as a 95% chance to land David. Miami has a 2.5% chance, and Michigan State another 2.5% chance. Uh, Michigan State has some expert predictions on 24-7 sports, but they're from Michigan State insiders, so I don't believe those predictions hold a whole lot of weight. Oklahoma has a lot of predictions from high-profile recruiting analysts on 24-7 sports, so I think Oklahoma is the safe pick here. Ultimately, I think Oklahoma will also land David Stone. Up next, we have KJ Bolden, five-star safety. He's 6'1", 185 pounds from Buford, Georgia, number seven recruit nationally, number one safety, and the number two recruit coming out of the state of Georgia. Currently have Georgia as a 55% chance to land him, Ohio State as a 25% chance, and Alabama as a 20% chance. I feel like this race is a very, very close between those three teams. I feel like Ohio State and Georgia are the two front runners with Alabama right there behind. Um, he does have a commitment date set for August 5th, so we'll just have to wait and see. But ultimately, I do think he will pick the Bulldogs. Next recruit is five-star edge, Colin Simmons. He's the number eight recruit nationally, number one edge, number one recruit coming out of the state of Texas. He's 6'3", 225 pounds. He's from Duncanville, Texas. Right now, I have Texas as an 80% chance to land him. LSU as a 20% chance to land him. He has some LSU uh, predictions on 24-7 sports, but he has more high-profile expert predictions for uh, Texas. So ultimately, I do believe he will pick the Longhorns, but we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we have five-star wide receiver Micah Hudson. He's six foot, 190 pounds. He's from Temple, Texas, number nine recruit nationally, number two wide receiver, and the number two recruit coming out of Texas. Right now, I have Texas Tech as an 85% chance and Texas as a 15% chance. It seemed like Texas was in the lead for a little bit there, but over the last couple of months to weeks, Texas Tech has been a big front runner. And he has a couple of predictions on 24-7 Sports to Texas Tech. And I ultimately, ultimately believe that Texas Tech is where uh, Micah will end up. Next up, we have Dylan Stewart, five-star edge. He's 6'5", 235 pounds from Washington, D.C. Number 10 recruit nationally, number two edge, and the number one recruit coming out of the state of D.C. Right now, I have Ohio State as a 70% chance to land him and South Carolina as a 30% chance to land him. Ohio State has the two big predictions on 24-7 sports, and the only reason they're not higher is because South Carolina is making a huge push for Dylan. They were the leaders in this race just a couple of weeks ago before these predictions were put in. So we'll just have to wait and see. This one may be dragged on. Maybe there's, there's a little bit of rumblings that his commitment might come sooner than many people thought, but we'll just have to wait and see. But right now, I do think he will land at Ohio State. Next up, we have Justin Williams. Five-star linebacker, he's 6'2", 205, he's from Conroe, Texas, number 11 recruit nationally, number one linebacker, number three recruit coming out of the state of Texas. Right now, I have him as a 50% chance to go to Georgia and a 50% chance to go to Oregon. This one's a really big toss-up. Uh, he has predictions to go to Oregon on 24-7 sports, but on, on three, it seems like he's a lean to go to Georgia. So this one's a really big toss up right now. If I'm going with my gut, I'm going to say Georgia, even though that's going against some of other people's predictions. I just feel like Georgia has that pedigree to pull defensive guys. But Oregon has been a lean for a long time, so I wouldn't be surprised if he goes to Oregon. But right now, my gut's telling me Georgia. Up next, we have Mike Matthews, five star wide receiver. He's 6'1", 180 pounds. He's from Georgia, number 13 recruit nationally, number four wide receiver, and a number three recruit coming out of the state of Georgia. Right now, I have Tennessee as a 95% chance to land him and Clemson as a 5% chance to land him. 
All the signs are pointing to Tennessee. It's where all the major recruiting services are pointing towards. Uh, he has big time predictions for Tennessee from 24-7 sports. Um, Clemson seems to be the second fiddle in this race. And that's why I have them as about a 5% chance. Just because they are about the second team for Mike Matthews. But it seems like Tennessee is a really big lock. So that's where I'm going. Tennessee is going to land Mike Matthews. Next up, we have Charles Lester III. He's a five-star corner. He's 6'1", 171 pounds from Venice, Florida. Number 19 recruit nationally, number two corner, and number four recruit coming out of the state of Florida. Right now, I have Florida State as a 95% chance, and Colorado as a 5% chance. Uh, all the signs are leaning to Florida State on this one. All the major recruiting services are leaning towards Florida State. He has some Florida State uh, predictions on 24-7 sports. It looks like Colorado is the second fiddle in this race as well. Uh, he had a little bit of Colorado buzz over uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, but Florida State is the clear front runner on this one. So Charles Lester will be heading to Florida State. Next recruit is Brandon Baker, five-star offensive tackle. He's 6'5", 285 pounds. He's from Santa Ana, California, number 21 recruit nationally, number one offensive tackle, and the number two recruit coming out of the state of California. Right now, I have Oregon as a 60% chance, and USC is a 40% chance. Uh, I think Oregon is the lean here, even though USC is right behind them in the recruiting trail on Brandon Baker. Um, so right now, I think he will land at Oregon, but I wouldn't be totally shocked to see him go to USC. I don't know how long this recruiting process is going to last for Brandon, but if it ended today, I'm going to go Oregon, and that's where my heart is set when he does commit. But again, if he picks USC, I wouldn't be shocked. Last recruit I'm going to be talking about today is Edgerick Houston, five-star defensive line. He's 6'3", 255 pounds. He's from Buford, Georgia, number 22 recruit nationally, number four defensive line, and number five recruit to come out of the state of Georgia. Right now, he has a commitment date set for August 22nd. Uh, right now, I have Ohio State as a 95% chance and Georgia as a 5% chance. All the predictions on 24-7 sports are for Ohio State. All the recruiting services have him as an Ohio State lean. And I just think Ohio State is the clear front runner here. He loves it at Ohio State. I have Georgia as a 5% chance because it is the in-state school. He's an in-state Georgia kid. So if anyone was going to flip him, it would be Georgia. But right now, I don't see that happening. And I see Ohio State is the clear front runner. And I believe Edric will be an Ohio State Buckeye. Yo, thank you guys so much for watching another recruiting news for dummies video. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos. And if you want to see more in the future, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell to get alerts on every new video that I post. And I'm out. Peace.